Season 15 is out, which means it's uh, leveling guy time. So I'm going to go over the uh, gear leveling first, meaning the pinnacles and whatnot. And then I'll go back to artifact fast grind leveling for the people that want to just get fast levels and can't do all the pinnacles, which is totally fine. So first off, people ask me what pinnacle should you do first? There is plus two pinnacles and plus one pinnacles. You want to start the season with doing plus two pinnacles, assuming you were at the 1320 cap when it ended. So... I'm going to go over what plus twos are and then what plus ones are and then I'll explain a little bit of detail what you should do. So, first off, the plus twos, you got the Prophecy Dungeon Final Boss, Kaleco, it's a guaranteed armor drop by the way in case people did not know that. Then you've got Harbinger, plus two, as well as an on level Hawkmoon, and then Prestige, same thing, a plus two with an on level Dead Man's Tail. Then you've got the Empire Hunt Master for this. Although if you're just starting out, it will be a little bit brutal, just giving you a heads up. Then we've got the Braytech Simulation, which is also a plus two. Deepstone is not, in case people are wondering. Then we've got Vault of Glass. Do not do Master. You, you are not going to want to do Master for a very long time. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty brutal on Master for most people, I'm not going to lie. So stick to Legend, it's the same two, uh, plus two as Master. You're not going to miss anything. And then uh, we have the... I actually don't know what it's called, let's see... Shattered Realm, I keep forgetting. That is a pinnacle as well. Almost forgot that one. And I believe that covers all the plus twos. Uh, sorry, actually, no. The Nightfall as well. That's the last one. Um, you can actually get the 100k on Legend. You don't need to do Master. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to tell you straight up now. You're, you're going to want to bring Void. Just bring Void, okay? Just bring Void. So that is all the plus twos. Then for plus ones, we have Crucible, Vanguard Strikes, and Gambit as well as uh, Hawthorne, even though it says powerful tier 2 for some reason. It said this for like at least a year now, but it does give a plus 1 pinnacle, just a heads up. And as far as how do you do your pinnacles, let's uh, let's let's go over the, the, the system first. All right, so as you can see, I'm 1322 right now. And hypothetically, if I was 1320, everything would be even, right? Everything would say 1320. What you're going to want to do is you start any of your plus 2s, on your first character and depending what slot you get that in you continue doing plus twos until you hit that next level which would be 1323 for me personally so let's say I do three pinnacles right they were all plus twos and I got by some miracle I got three weapons and these were all 1322 right that means I would be six out of eight points to my next level. Eight points because there's eight gear pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I would have six points in just weapons, which means any armor piece would give me my next level. So what would you do? Well, you boot up the Prophecy Dungeon and you kill the final boss. Why? Because the final boss guarantees an armor piece. Therefore, you're ensuring that next pinnacle is 100% going to be an armor piece and not a dead drop. And then you kill the boss, and you get automatically a level up, so you don't get a dead drop, and you don't, you know, get bad RNG, etc., etc. And then, once you're that n next level, then you can uh, go accordingly, depending what your next uh, breakdown is. So, like, if I'm going to be 1323, then some of these gear pieces are going to be maybe one point behind, two points behind. And at that point, you can either continue to do plus twos, or you can try to fill with on-level drops, like, for example... Uh, you go to a Lost Sector to get an armor piece, and it'll be on level. So, like, let's say it's Boots today, and your Boots are behind by two points, right? You can just go do the Lost Sector, which is on Dreaming City today, I believe. Yep. So, they're Boots. Once you get an Exotic from there, it'll be on level, which means you'll raise your Boots up by two points. That can come in clutch instead of going and wasting your plus twos or even your plus ones. Hopefully, that makes sense. I try to be as detailed as much as I can. That's essentially how you do it, so, but generally speaking, you do plus twos, then plus ones, unless there's a specific scenario where you can do a plus one and you think you get rewarded on it. Like, let's say five out of your eight pieces can be an upgrade that'll push you to the next level. So that's how you handle gear leveling as far as things go. Now, let's talk about the artifact slash bounty grind for this season. Alright, on a serious note, let's start off with the usual you pick up bounties from banshee because they're all weapons and they're super easy to complete then you head over to uh mr chrome dome aka zavala and you're gonna do the same thing 
except you're going to try to avoid getting the scorn bounty or the taken bounty but if you happen to get the taken bounty you can just launch like a shadows and do that super super quick other than that just pick up everything all right we got taken it's fine like i said for that one you can just launch like a shadows kill 25 taken and you're done bang bang or you can just chuck it away and try again that's up to you next we're gonna head to the helm so let's cut to that for season 15 you're actually gonna have two vendors that you can access here for bounties i'm not sure why the splicer has bounties still as the other seasons the vendor lost their bounties but i'm not gonna complain so you're gonna go to the splicer machine and then you're gonna pick up any bounties that do not require you killing you know vex or going into um override so those i can do that you can't do this you could do if you want vex precision shots but i choose not to because what we're gonna be doing does not involve vex now you just go back up over here and then you're gonna head over to uh the uh i don't know Mara telepathic machine whatever the hell you call it and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna pick up everything that doesn't require you to go to the dreaming city or kill stuff in uh, the new six-man activity so abilities yes GLs yes melees yes and then if you can uh, blah, 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 astral alignment no we're not gonna do that you can do that but just not during this uh, little route so now that you've picked up all of those you head down to the old Cosmodrome, so let's cut to that. Here we are at the Fortnite man himself. So, this one's fairly simple. All his bounties are extremely easy, and we're going to be doing the Disgrace Strike, which happens to be on the Cosmodrome. So you're going to want to just pick up all of them that aren't a public event or a patrol, repeatable as you can see right here. Just chuck that away immediately, don't waste your time. And then once you're done here... Right. So... What you're going to want to do is, now we have a, a, a ton of bounties. A metric ton of bounties, as you can see. What you're going to want to do is, you're going to launch the Disgraced Strike straight from the directory. And then do that strike. In that strike, there are a ton, a metric F-ton of enemies. I cannot trust that enough. There are, oh, so many enemies. And you're going to take advantage of that. So what you're going to want to do is, you look over your bounties. Some of them are going to have the same objectives. Let's uh, let's find something that's similar. So let's go to weapons real quick. We have machine gun, scout, SMG, linear SMG, sidearm. So then you look at your other bounties. You're gonna see sidearm. So you have two sidearm bounties. Then you have stasis, which you can then use the stasis sidearm. And now you have three bounties doing it at the same time. Super abilities, melee, shotgun, etc. So here's what I would personally do to start. You're gonna look at let's say linear fusion rifles, right? What I would do is, if you, by the way, if you don't have one, just go to your collections like I'm going to right now. So I'll take out an Arbalist, Linear Fusions. Okay, I'm going to slot that in. I'm going to put that in there. Then we add uh, SMG kills, right? You're going to do that. Linear, SMG, and then we have Machine Gun kills. So this is how you're going to start off because you have bounties for all of these. So you just immediately put those weapons on and you're good to go. Now, if we have Stasis and Melee, you can on Hunter, you can do Shurikens. So that's super easy. If not... You can just do the stasis sidearm so we're just going to go back to collections again and bring that out and when you're going to be doing that you're going to be doing three or four bounties all at once and just optimizing how fast you go melee over here as well so i think we have two melee bounties and then yeah like i mentioned if you're uh revenant just throw shurikens non-stop and then from there you just go like down the list so once you complete your linear, your SMG, and your uh, machine gun kills, then you go to sidearm kills, shotgun kills, whatever it may be, super kills, etc. So, if you're like me, you're going to start off by just using the sidearm for stasis instead of, um, instead of being a revenant, and because the bounties show me having super kills, I'm going to put on a super that has a lot of, uh, I guess, advantage to getting a ton of trash mobs killed, so Arc Strider, for example, with Raid Influx, you can put on and you can easily kill like 20 enemies, 20 Thrall all at once, or 20 Fall in the beginning room, just to quickly get over that bounty and keep moving progressively. So, I'm going to show you the beginning of the Disgrace Strike to give you an idea, and then I will go straight to the end and show you how many bounties I completed in that one single strike. Alright, so here we are, beginning of the strike. So I'm going to just kind of show you uh, how I take my route give you an idea of what I do so first off there's a bunch of vandals and captains to start this room off there's a method to the madness typically you're gonna want to kill 
all of these until you start seeing shanks. That is a phone. Just ignore that. Smile. Once you kill a certain amount of the Vandals and Captains, shanks will start coming out, which is right there. Then after you kill a certain amount of shanks, you will see, um, van- Uh, oh, no, sorry, not Vandals. Um, Marauders. Marauders are going to come out. Impis Marauders. And then once you kill a certain amount of those, the wall over there will start having a ton of enemies coming out. And that's where you get a bunch of your kills. So, let me give you, uh... There you go. So just to kind of give an example, like bam, use your super here, get a bunch of kills there. I finished my super kill, so I'm just going to switch, go to stasis for the meme, and then use whatever gun you need to to kill these enemies. So it, like I mentioned, there's a ton of enemies to kill, and you can get a giant amount of your bounties done all in one run, especially if you get matched with like new light players who aren't, uh, you know, familiar with all the enemy locations and such like that. So already in this first room, within like, what, two minutes or so, you've already seen me complete like, what, five plus bounties? There's another one. And we haven't even gotten, you know, to the, uh, the array section, so let's go up. Okay, so we're on the boss room right now, and I believe I'm working on the final bounty I have. I will check in one second. Yep, one bounty remaining, 85%. We're just gonna send her home right now so we get more enemies. Alright, that should be my one strike and as you can see I completed everything that's 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 31 bounties in uh what let's say a 10 minute strike give or take 31 bounties one strike uh, it, it, it doesn't get any easier than that, ladies and gentlemen. No dumb AFK, throwaway, blah, blah, blah nonsense. No huge time investment. Literally, like, maybe an hour of your time. Maybe an hour and a half if you're going slow. There you have it. That is my artifact leveling guide slash power leveling gear score advice. So, there you go. Hope it helps. Uh, let me know uh, what you guys think. How fast your leveling has become from it. Also, a like and a sub would be appreciated. Go to the channel. It helps a lot. Also, I stream on Twitch daily. Twitch.tv slash ThinkyBeaver. Alright, I'll catch you guys uh, in the next one for uh, more Season of Lost stuff. Later.